Hello, this is Kinsley from Emerge. And today, in our inspirational time, we are here to share with you a story we have entitled, How to Soar Like an Eagle. How to Soar Like an Eagle. In Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31, the Bible talks about a beautiful story. But they who wait for the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Beautiful story. Beautiful analogy. Isaiah the prophet draws a parallel between those that wait upon the Lord and the life of an eagle, how the eagle waits and then prepare itself for the second phase or the next phase of its life. You see, an eagle can foresee when a storm is approaching. Instead of hiding, the eagle will fly to some high point and wait for the winds to come. The eagle does not escape or hide from the storm. Instead, it uses the storm to lift it up. It rises on the stormy clouds, which others dread. When the storms hit, other birds run for cover. But the storm, when the storms hit, the eagle know it is time to soar up high. Now, storms of life are always blowing. As the eagle is able to ride above the storms, so are we to challenge ourselves and use life's stormy winds and challenges as a, an opportunity to ride high and high and high. So from the story that is told in Isaiah 40 verse 1, who are those who can soar like an eagle? Those who wait on the Lord. They are the ones that renew their strength with and by the word of God. They will mount up with earrings as eagles and they will run and not be weary. They will walk and not faint. So what does it mean to wait on the Lord, as the prophet Isaiah alludes to? Let's look at a couple of things. To wait on the Lord, we need to determine what it is to wait and how to even wait. The what and the why and the how of waiting is very essential. Waiting as used in this passage or wait as used in this passage is to be in a state of expectancy is to look patiently tarry or wait for wait on or wait upon something so we see here that the wait as in Isaiah 40:31 is not a call to idleness, but rather the weight is a call to active and serious anticipation of an opportunity that will come by. Remember, the eagle strives very well when the winds and the storms come its way. And so it waits in anticipation it waits in anticipation for the storms to come so that the storm will lift it higher and higher and higher. The eagle needs that height to be able to identify its prey, monitor the movement of its prey, and with that element of surprise, dive down to capture its prey. And so those who wait upon the Lord are those who trust in his providential care 
even throughout the pressures of life. They are the one who wait or who have confident expectation and anticipation that even though I'm going through difficult times, but God will bring opportunities my way. Chance will come my way. Those who wait on the Lord are those who have confident hope in the Lord that he will see them through every changing phase of life. Life has so many changing phases. And just as the eagle waits to use the storms to lift itself to a higher height, so do we also have to see the crisis, the challenges that comes our way as an opportunity to soar up high, as an opportunity to be elevated. Those who make it and make it great are those who see challenges, opposition, and all the difficulties of life as an opportunity to be surmounted. Are you waiting on the Lord? Are you losing hope because of the storms of life that is heading towards your way? Are you losing hope because you are going through the storms of life? I am here to challenge you that do not lose hope. The storms are an opportunity for you to climb to higher heights. In fact, adversities, difficulties are the advertisement of something great and greater to come your way. Look beyond your present condition. Look to the future. Just as the eagle needs the storms to be able to soar up high and have a better view of all that is around it, to have a better view of life, you need to prepare yourself to ride on the storms of life that may come our way. Some of the storms of life may be financial challenges, marital challenges, Challenges with raising up your children, health challenges, relationship challenges. In all these things, God is greater than your challenges. As we wait on the Lord, when the storms of life, all challenges of life hit us, let us rise just like the eagle above the challenges, above the difficulties and be not afraid of the storms, but use it to lift up higher. I want to challenge you today that never lose hope. Do not be discouraged. They that wait upon the Lord are those who study assiduously the word of God. Those who depend on the word of God to overcome crisis. Those who depend on the word of God for inspiration. You see, when you are inspired from within, you are able to achieve much more than even when you are inspired from without. Because from those without, they have a limitation. But if the word of God dwells in you richly and out of it, you are inspired. It doesn't matter the challenges that may come your way. You will be a victor and not a victim. You see that you will be an overcomer. For we are overcomers in this world because of the finished work of Christ. Do not look at the storms, but soar up high like an eagle and use your challenges as a platform to reach higher heights. Have a pleasant day. And if you want more of such inspiring videos, do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Do not forget to like, comment, and also share with others. And so that others will also be blessed. Most importantly, do not forget to click on the notification button so that when we release such inspiring videos, you will be notified. Do not lose hope, for help is on the way. Do not lose hope. Use your crisis as an opportunity to gather momentum for the next phase of life and to soar up high just like the eagle. Be blessed. Bye-bye.